What is an old trend that is still doing a lot damage and that people don't realize? More of a job specific thing, but literally any tradesman that will argue that modern PPE is unnecessary. I don't care if your grandpappy used to use a paint sprayer without a respirator, I'm trying to not destroy my lungs. Work smarter, putting yourself into an early grave to make shareholders your boss happy is moronic. I once had a job with what was called a no-fault policy. If you were late or absent seven days in a year without prior notice you were fired. Prior notice was a week's warning. If you were sick two days in a row, that's two points against you. If you were late because of an accident ahead of you on the highway, that was a point. If there was a blizzard and they closed the road, one point. I never got more than three, but one lady whose kids were sick and in hospital racked up three points in a week. No fault meant not the company's fault you got fired. Edit. Sending your kids to school sick. Going to work sick. That working out while sick makes you sweat out your sickness but in reality you're prolonging your recovery and potentially getting others sick at the gym too. Diamonds. Diamond engagement rings only became a thing in the 1920s due to aggressive marketing by the De Beers Diamond Cartel. Diamond mining is often done under horrendous conditions, then most of them are locked away to keep the prices high. That $1,000 diamond ring is a lie. Diamonds are not actually that rare. Irresponsibly selective breeding dogs. People want their cute petite dog or their hard-looking pits while completely disregarding how their genetic deformities gives them a shit quality of life. A lot of these animals die relatively young and if they miraculously do make it to old age, end up suffering horrendously as their issues become magnified. So much so that most of the assholes that want to have breed these animals end up abandoning them or just neglecting them until they're incapable of powering through their struggles and die. Using Drano or liquid plumber on potentially older pipes. Giving children and adults, for that matter open access to social media. It's utter brain rot at this point. Mulch volcanoes around trees, instead can I interest you in a mulch donut? People going to work when sick. Still. Only getting two days for the weekend per week. It never feels long enough. I think three-day weekends should become the norm. The work week should be Monday through Thursday. Four-day weekends are probably too long though. I won't go that far. They should be reserved for occasions. Giving cats milk. They're lactose intolerant. If you're going to give them milk, make sure it's milk specifically for cats. Literally anything that categorizes body types into trends. The 30 minutes or it's free pizza delivery trend ended in the 90s and so many people still think that it applies to every restaurant I hate having to explain that it doesn't. Going broke to have an extravagant marriage and spending said money on things that ultimately don't really matter during your wedding. I'm at an age now where people around me start marrying and my BF and I are actively keeping a list of things we miss or need to avoid for our own eventual marriage. The lack of paid maternity leave. Sun tanning. Tans are a persistent fad, but the damage is far more lasting than any fad. People of all colors should wear sunscreen every day, thank me in 30 years. Working when sick. Clear your plate young man. Child beauty pagans. Forcing your ways of life on other people. The way we treat kids like they're idiots. Kids needs people they love and trust to help them understand the world. Talking to an older kid like they're babies, or saying no all the time arbitrarily with zero explanation. Is that really helping? I remember feeling furious all the time at adults when I was a kid, and it's only when I learned the word patronizing that I understood why I was so angry. You're not raising kids, you're providing lifelong guidance and support to the adults they will become. Edit BC Typo. You need to work overtime because your boss is working overtime even if you've already done with your workload. Smoking. Going to the office five days a week. Working half a day on Saturdays. Being blind followers of any political, religious sect. Clinging to differences and using differences to define rather than similarities. Differences between people that you use to justify hate, treating people as less than, or just never seeing them as people. We all have more in common than WHWT separates us, so why are we not working together? Excessive plastic packaging, any plastic packaging. 
Hazing. Feeling like we need to be someone we're not in order to find a partner. Demonizing certain foods i.e. carbs, fats, sugar, etc. Moderation seems to be a rarity. How much labor a human is expected to be accountable for in any given day. Men that show emotions and aren't in control are weak. Social media use and the effect on mental health. Drinking every weekend. People thinking that their vote doesn't matter. Too many people. I have never understood how you can limit people's sick time or give it in advance, you may get poorly three times only in one year. We have sickness policies in the UK to stop people taking the piss, and as a non-NHS nurse I don't get sick pay, but if I'm sick, I'm sick, and I'm going to be off for however long I need to be off. The US system is so bizarre. Racism. Gender reveal parties. One even started a fucking forest fire but people still think it's cute. No real pockets in women's clothing. Five day work weeks. It's bullshit really. And greed. The world would be a much happier place as four days was normalized. Washing your raw chicken with water before cooking it. Not necessary, and is an unsafe food prep practice. College hazing rituals. Private health insurance. We the United States pay more for our insurance like, double for worse outcomes and lowered life expectancies. Trying to find reasons to condemn other people and feel morally superior to them just because you're not superior to them in any other way and that scares your low self-esteem having ass. Alcohol is one of our most common way of socializing and even seen as a must-have in celebrations, like weddings. Some consulting companies reducing your salary every time you are sick less than five days in a row. Weighing salary versus health is illegal in Europe, but their salary contracts are complicated enough that they can still do it. Putting every single piece of produce in its own plastic bag. What are y'all doing? You know you gotta wash that anyways, right? It's literally been sitting in shit dirt, you think the cart your reusable bag is going to get it dirtier? It's been 43 years since trickle-down economics was introduced and it's hurting people every day. Circumcision. Alcohol. Beauty standards for women. Minor one but sagging your pants. I've seen many kids who did this now have hip issues as young adults because they changed their gait to walk with their pants sagged. Eat all the food on your plate or else. Reasonable in times of scarcity, but now we have childhood obesity running rampant. Smoking. The idea that hard work equals success. 